What's up YouTube? Well today the energy is going to be a little low um, as you guys know all over the news rest in peace Kobe and Gianna and everyone else that was on board man what a tragedy I, I mean as a father I'm, I don't even want to get into that so much but guys I mean very very sad day today but like I told you guys in the last vlog we are going to be talking about the Mandarin gene and I am really excited about it but before we get to that, I'm gonna show you guys some lockups that I hope they're still locked up. Every time I show you guys, they're not locked up anymore, <laughs> but I'm gonna go through all of the racks that we had the pairings from last night and see what is locked up and what potential we have to make this season. Right here, guys, we have a special hepide, read into a cypress hepide. Cypress hepide that we made over here at AEP. Next, we have this leopard ivory. Oh man, they're not locked up anymore. But she was locked up to the super gravel, so we would definitely be getting a lot of highway, leopard highway stuff on this clutch right here. Gotta love the supers. And then next on the top over here, we have a bamboo yellow belly fire. Breed into a black pastel asphalt head lavender. This is an exciting one right here. On that clutch right there, I would love to hit a black pastel bamboo freeway. How insane would that be? I don't think that's even been done before. Have you guys, if you guys have, please DM me because I want to see that bad boy. Or even a bamboo freeway alone. And this is actually the second time I'm doing this clutch. I missed the odds on it last year. But right here we have a super chocolate hemp pie. Oh, yep, and they're locked up. Breeding to an orange dream, yellow belly, inchy, and Genex pied. And we were able to hit a few pies, but this is what we were shooting for. Right here we have a Orange Dream Yellow Belly Enchi Chocolate Het Pied female. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to post a picture of her so you guys can get a better look at her. But man, getting all these jeans in pied is going to be a game changer. And next we have this Blade Clown breeding to nobody. Oh, that guy needs to do some work. On the bottom of that, we have another blade clown breeding to none other than the Mandarin Hat Clown. This is going to be a good one, man. This is what I'm excited about. Another snake made over here at AEP, Mandarin Hat Clown. Here's another good one, a GHI Mojave bred to breeding to a Cypress Olympus and they got their tails close by but nothing too crazy Then we have a pied female With a mandarin het pied male again not too much work going on over here man This season started off very slow for me, but I'm not too worried because last year it happened the same way But then we just still knocked it out But that's all we had as far as parents is because we have a lot of males that are in shed, but now we're gonna get to the Mander stuff, but I need a little help, so I'm gonna go get Jesse, you know? He hasn't been on the vlogs for a couple of days now, so let's go get him so he can help me out with all these cool Mandarin projects. After hatching those two babies, I have honestly, have been so freaking excited, and I just could just imagine of all the awesome pairings that there's still left to do with the Mandarin, because not too many people are working with it, and to know that I hit some hypo stuff, I mean, I have my Mandarin hypo boy going to every female right now that I have hypo in, because now that, you know, obviously proved the hypo, but let me show you a couple of females he's been breeding to. We have him here breeding with the Leopard Mojave hypo, and currently breeding with the GHI Yellow Belly Het Hypo, and that's him right there, Hypo Mandarin. Now before I show some of the babies off, let me show you guys the pictures of the two babies that I hatched out this season with that guy, breeding him to just a random calico butter that I never, I didn't even know was Het Hypo. Little, little did I know he was Het Hypo as well. And then we had these two beauties. Check these pictures out because the camera's hard to, p to pick up on the actual colors on it, so check these out. There's a few people working with the Mandarin stuff. I myself is working with it. And Al Sari, I think it's not to you say your name, Al. Don't get mad at me, brother. With Vivid Pythons, he's actually working. And he actually just hit a Mandarin clown, which let me show you guys right now. Crazy, right? He's been doing a lot of Mandarin stuff. He's been helping me a lot 
with you know some of the combos that I've been hatching over here. And also, I heard that Brittany Gobble is actually on the Mandarin you know project now as well. So that's pretty cool. And I know Justin might have a Mandarin here or there. Maybe I mean I don't know. Possibly just a little <laughs> but yeah guys so let me show you guys a few combos and then we'll go from there man The one that I want to start off with is in shed just my luck I do have a picture of it though, but this is a inchy mandarin what I did with this pairing was a mandarin bred to a pastel inchy fire So the cool thing is it had nine eggs and we kind of hit almost every combo off of it But let me show you guys a picture of the one that I really want to show you guys, but it's in shed right now So check this out Crazy, right? I mean, it's kind of like a reddish orange. I mean, dude, Inchi and Mandarin are working really, really good. All right, guys, so I'm not gonna be able to use Jesse for the vlog because he's still sick and I do not want to get sick. Apparently, I've been quarantined. I've been here for three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, put my sticks on before you give him more eye. Yeah, so, Jesse, that's all the vlog time you're gonna get. Speaking of vlog time, ooh, there's my sister in law right there. You guys ever see her? Look at her. Say hi, Emmy. Hi. <laughs> Guys, so I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be able to have Jesse here, the big dog, but I was so sick and I was out for like three weeks and I cannot get sick again, so Jesse's just gonna have to like, you know, wait and chill. But I got something way cooler and way prettier than Jesse. And as always, our best van over here at AEP. Turtle, thanks hey. for always, you know, helping us van up. You're welcome. You're the best, bro. Thank you. So real quick, so these are the two snakes that I showed the pictures of, guys. And look at all this orange. So right here we have a Mandarin Hypo. And then right here we have a Mandarin Calico Hypo. I mean, dude, I mean, you guys, you guys see it? Look how amazing this is, man. And this is just touching a little on this jean. It's cool to know that you're wearing the white shirts. Definitely bringing out the colors a lot more than they usually does. But guys, this is what I'm really, really excited about. I mean, look at that, man. That is so freaking awesome. Like purple and like orange. Or am I colorblind, am I right? No, yeah, grayish yeah. purple, for real. But guys, again, it's 1.2. It's so funny, I've actually been offered a good amount of uh, of money for these two right here, but I am not selling these bad boys. But I definitely have another clutch coming in soon. Thanks, Turts, McGurts. Speaking of other people that are getting into the Mandarin project, um, I'm gonna show you guys a quick little sneak peek of their Mandarins, but this is to the little zookeepers. As you guys all know on Instagram who they are, but they actually picked a 1.1 Mandarin 66% hit hypos. And they're right there. I'll show you guys one real, real quick. Bam. I'll show you guys the other one real, real, real quick. Bam. But yeah, there's some crazy stuff, right, Turtle? Super crazy stuff. They should be here anytime <laughs> to pick up their uh, their Mandarin stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> It's all when Jesse gives him the Repta chip. Big shout out to Jesse, by the way. He was gonna do a little promotion for Repta chip, but we took completely stopped him in his track just because he's sick. But yeah, all right. we're not trying to be sick again. <laughs> yeah, back to the Mandarin stuff. So we're gonna start off with the base morph right here. And this right here is just a single gene Mandarin. And you guys can see all the orange coming off of her sides right here. Look at all that, man. And what's cool about this orange that it doesn't brown up or lighten up in any way. It actually stays the same color. And the, the cool thing about this gene is what you want to get into is you want to shoot for the supers. The supers are next level, guys. I am telling you. The Mandarin gene is hot. And again, it's just a single gene Mandarin right here. And it is a female. And she's 50% hypo. And she is available. I just haven't put her up on Morph Market. So if you guys are interested, make sure you guys DM me and get in this project. And next, we have this Fire Mandarin. And you can see how orange this thing is, man. You guys seen the, just the single gene Mandarin? And then you got, I mean, the single gene Mandarin and just a regular fire. And this is what you get when you mix both of the combos. You get a turtle. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys, look at this, man. It is so beautiful. Also a female. I really, really wish that the Inchi Mandarin was not in Shed. I'm telling you guys, that's the one that I'm really, really stoked about just because it's more of a reddish orange, more than an orange. But this next one I'm gonna show you guys is a Firefly Inchi Mandarin. And this thing is honestly like very cream colored. Someone actually had said, dude, is that a freaking desert ghost? But no, check this out. She honestly does look like a desert ghost. Again, look at that, man. And again, this is also 50% hit hypo. And she's also up for grabs, guys. Let me see, let me lower the light a little bit. Maybe we'll get a little more of a... Yeah, there we go. This thing is so beautiful, man. 
Gotta love that Mandarin gene. And guys, I'm telling you guys right now, with the Mandarin project, the key on these combos right here are gonna be hypo or the super form of the Mandarin, guys. I'm telling you, man, it's insane. I've seen pictures, I've actually seen some in person, and the stuff that's coming up in the next year or two is gonna be amazing. Now, I'm hoping to be one of those people that make some of that next level stuff, especially now that I know we have a Mandarin hypo and a hypo calico Mandarin. I mean, dude, it's crazy, crazy. Most possibilities. And uh, everything, every Mandarin combo that we have is gonna be 50% hypo. And here is another uh, base morph of the Mandarin. Let me put the, there we go. And again, you can see how orange they are, man. Such a beautiful snakes. That's another female. Come here, little girl. Let me open you up, there we go. You gotta love that Mandarin. So these are all this Mandarin stuff that I'm working with. I have my Mandarin head clown male working. I would like to show you guys a picture, but you guys saw that he's breeding, but he's super, super bright and very orange. Next we have our Mandarin head hypo working as well. And we have a Mandarin head pied male. These are my three Mandarin males doing a lot of work right now until my hypo Mandarin gets the size. And then we have another Mandarin female up here. Let me show you see where she's at. I missed the super on that one. We had five eggs, three eggs went bad, and then we only have two eggs, and we only ended up getting one mandarin and one normal, so, kinda sucks. And then next, we have another mandarin that we're growing up, another female. And check this, I'm gonna have Tina pull this one out. Right here, we have a mandarin red stripe. Dude, look at that, man. Jeez, when have you seen a red stripe look that orange? And it's crazy because the color on the, it's not really picking it up on the camera, but guys, I mean, it's so insane. And again, she's gonna be 50% hypo. That is so cool, man. That is an Super awesome cool. snake. And she's getting up to size. So again, a Mandarin red stripe. And then we have this Mandarin hepide. Followed by a Mandarin head clown. Can't wait for these girls to get big, man. Could you imagine throwing spot nose, leopard, yellow belly, orange dream in these bad boys? I mean, look at that. How insane is that, man? You gotta love this Mandarin gene. Guys, as always, man, we want to thank all of you guys. You guys have been so awesome. You guys have been so positive, leaving some great comments. And again, I am going to be touching on the business side again of things. I just wanted to do a uh, morph vlog, yeah, you know. Keep everybody Give a, updated. Yeah, because that Mandarin stuff, I'm telling you guys, fire. super, super <laughs> fire. And as always, guys, we appreciate all of the support. And until next time.